Yeah, I take it for the road. Yeah, I take a glass for the road. People change, you know how it go. Had to rearrange the digits on my phone. It's your girl, No Way Jose here with Mixtape Madness. We are at Nux's headline show. I've seen someone reverse into another car. That means it's going to be a good time. Um, come with me and let's get into the madness. It's your girl, No Way Jose here, and I'm joined back with Mixtape Madness. I am joined by none other than Nux. Yeah, sure you frowning like I need her. Had a beanie with me last week. Had another Justin like I'm Bieber. Nux and Gully with a feature. Sipping Vossi from a teacup. You're not wise, trying to stop the drive, man, and use your body like a speed bump. How you feeling? Good, man. Excited. Good, good. Obviously, like, I've been following your journey for a while now. I'm probably, like, a fake fan, though, because I, I found out about you through, like, Vows. Yeah, you don't have to call yourself a fake Okay, not a fake fan, but, like, and it was, like, but then after I discovered the rest of your music, like, Breakfast at Tiffany's, I was like, oh, my gosh, guy's dope. So, obviously, like, you came on the scene, and I feel like you are literally one of the most talented rappers that we have as it says so how do you feel about like your success how do you, how do you feel about everything i mean i'm happy man I, like i know people might think because i'm not where they might think i should be yeah. that i'm a bit upset or whatever but i'm really I realise that it's, I'm getting people's respects, which I feel like is the most important thing. I'm getting yeah. respect from a lot of people that I have respect for. Yeah. And that's what's really, to me, important. So. Because it's not about like the likes and how many views or how many this you've got. It's just about like the talent. Yeah. Which is what a lot of people like respect about you. Because obviously you're a lyricist. And I'd say like what you've got in comparison to maybe a lot of rappers, like you actually come with puns and like, do you know what I mean? Everything that you say is tip top shape so obviously you've released your latest project yeah. do you want to tell us about that NRG 105 I mean like it's all in the name baby NRG 105 <laughs> it's like um it's got a radio theme to it it's a conceptual project you should go listen to it man like you won't be disappointed okay and you're originally from northwest London as well do you feel like that's kind of influenced a bit of your music as well like where you're from yeah I feel like it wasn't on purpose yeah, but I feel like Northwest guys are just They got the sauce. Yeah. Wow. So all the other ends you're coming for them. They were just saying no, Northwest just, has got the sauce. No, I'm just saying that we're just we're different. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you think of some of the rappers that are from Northwest, we're just different. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We have this different kind of style and I feel like without me knowing it, I've adapted it as well. Yeah. So a little birdie told me that once upon a time you got shipped to Nigeria. Is that true? Yeah. What happened? Was it a little bird that told you that? Yeah? No, it was, it was someone else told me, but I can't really. We can't, we can't talk about her. We can't talk about her. But you know, he told me anyway. So, um, how did that happen, and why did you get shit? Uh, I feel like you know bad behaviour, isn't it? Like, was you that? Was you that naughty? Like growing up? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was naughty. Yeah, like I was just troublesome, innit? And like caused trouble in school and stuff like that. And. Um, they, Did you get excluded and stuff? No, nah, they wanted to, you know like certain schools, when they don't want to exclude the student, it looks bad when they exclude students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kind of wanted that, I had, they had a meeting with my mum and wanted her to kind of Yikes. take me out. And that was kind of the last straw for Mumsy stuff. Do you feel like that affected you in any way or did that, that teach you anything? What, going back? Yeah. Yeah, no, going back was like probably one of the best things that ever happened to me but obviously i had to grow up to realize that yeah yeah, yeah i got what you mean i genuinely believe if i don't go back i wouldn't have gone uni wouldn't be like i, I don't think i'll be here honestly so yeah i'm happy like i'm so it like helped and shaped how you are yeah. basic now okay so obviously people like to compare you as well and you've obviously got you've got someone like wretch free to on your project that's like a big thing and i would say that you guys are quite similar in terms of like how you're both maybe viewed if you get what I mean, like you're both lyricists and it's not about like, oh, the gimmicks, it's just straight lyrics. So how did your collaboration with Wretch come about? Um, it was natural, man. Like, that's what, that's what I was saying before. Like, it's the respect that I'm getting is what's making me happy because yeah. it's like people that I respect are just reaching out to me and like, rah, I rate your thing and da 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 da, -da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how it, even though we've got mutual people around us, yeah. but it just came very naturally. He wanted me to work on some stuff for his project. And then he came and worked on some stuff for mine, and like that's that's how it came. So about. it worked out. Yeah. And then obviously when you had vows, and that like went 
phenomenal because that's that's when I discovered who Nux was and then obviously that allowed me to delve deeper into like who you really were as an artist what did that song do for you um it opened like it it, it, it broadened broadened the, the type of people listening to the music yeah 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 like but like still said, do you feel like it was like your biggest not biggest success or like biggest song but do you feel like that reached a lot more people than maybe other songs did um yeah like yeah, it was just another one like, yeah yeah you know yeah like the, i feel like the first one that made noise for me was breakfast at tiffany yeah yeah vows is just another one yeah like to, to add on top yeah accolades <laughs> that's <laughs> what i'm trying to say so i'm trying to get another another yeah. one and just keep keep growing like that okay so other than like your projects and stuff obviously you've got your show and i know you're gonna sh kill it what are you what have we what else can we expect from you in the next future um, in the next future. In the next year, I'm so fresh. <laughs> you would have thought I'm the one that got shipped. <laughs> in the near future. What are we expecting? No, love it. We're going to cut that out. In the near future. Love it, love it. In the near future, what can we expect? A lot. From I'm trying to, do you know what, yeah? I'm trying to just, I've been working on a lot of music. So, um, in the near future, the very near future, I've got my birthday song. Obviously, I've had the, I've had 21 candles on my 21st. Okay. I'm wrong with love on my 22nd. Cake was my 23rd. 24 was my 24th. Turning 25 in November, so I need to come up with another one. So that's going to be in November. Coming sick, up. Sick, sick, sick. And obviously, in wedding rings, I just throw, I'll throw this in there. Cause you mentioned something about East African girls in wedding rings. Yeah. Yeah, Is that I am. Yeah, I am. I am. You said, yeah. You said, mm. wedding rings, East Africana, talking in Somali, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't, don't want to misquote you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Is, is that what you're into? It's African girls. I'm just saying it for the ladies, because the ladies want to know. Like yeah. they want to know. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to point them in the right DMs to slide into. Yeah. Would you know what I mean? It's city girls, summer, all that. The hot girl summer is still there. I'm trying to point the girls in the right direction. Even in the winter, they do like Even in the winter it's there. Yeah, like, so like, where should they come? Like, do the East African girls come that way or? I mean, yeah, like I was. Funny enough, I was discussing this today, like with someone else. Like they were like, "Raw, like East African girls are kind of nice." Like, bro. They are, man. We're amazing. <laughs> bro, it's like. Uh, he was like, it's an acquired taste. I was like, fam, yeah. you need to be mature to appreciate. But I'm an appreciation for you, look still. Thank you. <laughs> Nak said it here first. It but anyway, good luck on your show. Thank, Thank you. you for chilling with Mixtape Madness. And we're going to do a crepe check before we go. So what are you wearing? I've got on the, I don't even know what they're called, but the Air Forces. You know me, I'm an Air Force guy. So am I like a good Air Force. Um, they've got the, the tan. Bottom so white midsole, suede. Cheese! It's navy, but it kind of looks black, so that's why I'm able to rock it with. Are you a trainer guy? Yeah, yeah, I'm a trainer guy. And he's dripped as well, guys. I'm getting them DMs. Ladies, getting them DMs. But anyway, thank you so much for speaking to us. Big up Mixtape Madness. You're done now. I said that. Thank you. I've been at Nux's headline show. I've watched Wretch Free 2 kill it. Nux, shell it down. I've got to speak to notes and I even got a fiver from Kediata. So, there's foxes around. I can see them coming. So, like, it's time. That means it's time for me to go home. Um, I've been your girl, No Way Jose, here for Mixtape Madness. Keep it locked here and just carry on and watch the madness.